I make videos on how to fix stuff and blah de blah de blah blah blah. Today is a video of I'm not gonna say a failure. I'm going to say that I made a human error. Uh, replaced all the lifters on this side. Replaced all the lifters on that side. Replaced the cam. Whole motor tore down to short block, long block, back to short block. Whole front end out of it. And I have a P0016. And runs good, no issues there. Um, the biggest problem I'm finding with the PO0016 is the service manual states that you have to remove engine, remove lower oil, well no, excuse me, the upper oil pan because it's a two section pan, remove entire oil pump assembly and slide cam, gear, chain, and lower gear off at the same time across the keyway. Set everything back in time, put it back in, get your cam hooked up, blah de blah de blah de blah. Well, see, I didn't take the pan off. Took the bolts out of the pumps, let the pump forward, managed to get the O-ringies changed, managed to get the little dewy on the pan changed. You know, that, that's that's talent all on its own. But, I'm a tooth off. From the best I can gather, it's still hot. I haven't even finished burping the coolant. I mean, goodness gracious. It's still on jack stands. It's still got, the bumper's still on the holder. I mean, it... It's bad. It's ugly. It sucks. I'm paid on salary, so I'm about to come in on the weekend and tear this thing apart for free. Like I work commission or some shit. Gotta follow them guidelines. I want to cuss, but I can't. So, me and the old orange beastie, after I get everything all put up, it's look like a hand grenade went off in there. But, I'm rambling, I'm venting all in a video. Morals are down at the moment, y'all. But, I've been in worse situations before on this stuff, and it's a tooth out. The primary reason that we took it apart has been cured. The misfire is gone on cylinder 7. No lifter pick. But, that cam has definitely seen better days way better days and heavens so is my toolbox and yes I did lube everything up maybe not the correct way but oh and we didn't see the damage on the cam we thought we were gonna get lucky and that's what happens in six miles of clackety clack clack bang 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 and all right i missed one crucial thing before the cam got in the shape that it's in it would run fine then it wouldn't it would run fine then it wouldn't it was pretty much rolling on the edge of the lifter and not so much the roller but this thing was destroying oil like it was sucking oil past the rings because obviously the valve wasn't opening when it was supposed to and it was sucking on itself but if you get one that starts just smoking like absolute mad like holy crap sounds like it's got a rod knock it's probably a lifter probably a lifter but i'm going to end this video it's almost about five minutes long um uh, yeah we all make mistakes. It does happen. I don't care how many years you've been doing this. I don't care how many LSs you've had apart, how many Gen 5s, 2s, 1s. I, it don't matter. If you work on cars, you're going to make mistakes. The only advice I got for everybody is own up to it. It happens. It's just nuts and bolts. And by the end of it, you, you get to say that you get to do another timing job. I mean, I've, I've done so many and... My good to bad ratio, the good definitely, definitely outweighs the bad. And I have had mistakes, we all have, but live from them, learn from them, move on. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. So keep your head up, guys.